patrons and hi everybody else. Uh, welcome to my Wednesday update forecast for the April to, for today and tomorrow's storm. Um, and this is also going to serve as my weekend forecast for the patrons just to kind of give everybody a preview of what they get on a weekly basis instead of recording two videos this made the most sense. So um, yeah, I want to give everybody an update. We're going to focus obviously mostly on today's storm, but we're also going to talk a little bit about the weekend and touch on the eclipse, which right now the weather looks good for the eclipse next week, which is really good. Um, and it's we're pretty in a good spot in terms of where the weather, the pattern is. So I think we've got a lot of wiggle room in terms of uh, the forecast could change even quite a bit and we'd still be sunny. So which is which is not that normal this time of year. It's very easy that we could be cloudy. Clips could happen today and we would have seen nothing. So, all right, before we get to that though, what's going on? Okay, massive storm, big giant swirl over the eastern kind of two thirds of the United States. And um, what's happening here is, here's our big mature storm from yesterday. We're getting obviously the beginnings of that with a bunch of sleet this afternoon. And what is going to happen and is happening currently is we are starting to develop a new low pressure system here over the Delmarva Peninsula, Eastern Maryland, somewhere in that range, which is gonna slowly creep up the coast over the next basically 24 to 36 hours. Um, and during that time, we are going to transition our precipitation this evening from sleet over to snow and then accumulating snow for most elevations. Forecast in terms of snowfall totals has not changed much. Um, and I, it looks like we're pretty much on track. This is kind of what we anticipated. Um, initial burst of precipitation has been a little lighter than we thought, but this wasn't really going to fall as snow anyway. So in terms of snowfall totals, it shouldn't uh, really mess things up too much. Um, yeah, it could be slick out there at times, though. Certainly the sleet can be slippery, so just keep an eye on that as you're going out the rest of the afternoon and evening tonight, and then tomorrow will be real rough on the roads, pretty much for everybody. So let's take a look at radar. We will zoom in on radar, but you can see big swirl. What we do have is a bit of a dry slot here, which is going to fill in, not so much fill in, but be reinvigorated by uh, the low pressure system as it gets going. So we aren't gonna see heavy precipitation. Uh, this radar is from about uh, three o'clock or so this afternoon. Um, we won't see this fill in uh, or the, we're kind of in the lighter off and on precipitation now, but by this evening it becomes steady and heavy um, as we transition at, from sleet to snow. It'll probably start as a little bit of heavier sleet before um, we start to wrap in some cooler air as the low pressure system here starts to uh, take off. So what's happened here is we've surged some warmer air aloft in, um, but as this low pressure takes over and as the mid-level kind of low as well does, it starts to wrap, it starts to wrap in, uh, in on itself and it starts to drag in some colder temperatures from the north um, and we don't need much of a change here to go back to snow so that's what's going to happen let's take a look closer in you can see um, radar kind of struggling to figure out exactly what's going on here but most of us in southern vermont are sleet or maybe some snow up uh, at the highest elevations and things like that um, we do have some rain in some of the valley locations. Right now, it's not really accumulating too much on the ground. And also here, you can kind of see that big kind of uh, dry slot that has moved in to our west, and we'll certainly keep our precipitation kind of off and on. But this band here and what's going to develop with it as the storm gets going is kind of the next wave, and that will really get things going and really start to accumulate the snow. This is a few hours away, though. So in terms of you get a little bit of time here where it's not too, too bad out there before things start to get a lot trickier out there. Um, let's take a quick look at the surface uh, low pressure and you can kind of see and we're going to look at pressure tendency in a minute here too but you can see here we've got the big primary storm and we've got the occluded front this is sort of a front that doesn't have much of a temperature difference around it and then you can see we're starting to develop our new low pressure system here off to our south um, and this will become the primary low but this process is going to take quite a while this is not going to be a rapidly it's going to intensify it's going to become quite a strong storm but it's not going to become an overly strong storm real quickly we've also seen some pretty good wind gusts west of the greens and that should continue through this afternoon and early evening as well there's been a couple of power outages not too bad with that but a couple of them that definitely uh, will continue that's mostly a Rutland and Bennington County kind of thing um, if we head towards pressure tendency, so warmer colors is where the, where the pressure, pressures are actually coming up. And you can see where that uh, low pressure system was and is, it's starting to, to lose its steam. And in, in, in that regard, it's actually pressures are starting to rise. But we have a lot of darker or cooler colors here. This is where the low pressure system is forming here off the East Coast. Um, and that is where it is going to form off the East Coast. So... 
as we do. Let's take a quick look just to kind of give you an idea of temperatures. We're in the low 30s, basically, 33, some low, some upper 20s. So cold enough at the surface that stuff that falls can, if it, especially if it starts, if we get into steady precipitation, could start to become problematic. We've been light enough that it hasn't, when we were warm enough with temperatures actually pushing close to 40 in a lot of locations earlier this morning, that basically most of this has melted as it's hit the ground so far, but definitely we're not out of the woods yet, um, especially as the sun goes down today. Let's take a quick look. I just want to kind of give you the, the this has not changed. These are actually maps from yesterday. I want to just reiterate what's going to happen in terms of uh, things as we move forward. So this is by eight o'clock tonight. Uh, the snow has started to kind of be the main uh, precipitation type uh, for the spine of the greens. The snow and sleet for most of the rest of us with a little bit of sleet left over. Right now we're mostly all sleet. Um, and then as we head overnight, that'll change pretty relatively quickly so that by 2 a.m. we're mostly snow, snow and sleet to our south. And then by tomorrow morning, all snow and precipitation will hold on through early to mid afternoon with accumulating snow before we taper to just flurries and the flurries will hang around basically friday we'll definitely see some flurries i don't think much accumulating snow but we'll definitely see flurries around on friday and on saturday more flurries friday than saturday but this one will linger as the up as the low kind of cuts off and just swirls around for a couple of days not accumulating really after tomorrow though let's take a quick look at the forecast for the weekend so that kind of reflects it right so the storm essentially cuts off in the gulf of maine leaves us with mostly cloudy skies and flurries on friday it's a decent cleanup day temperatures in the thir in around 37 so even if the flurries fall kind of heavy which they might at times the fact that uh, it's above freezing and that they're not going to be constant means that we are unlikely to accumulate snow. The only exception to this would be ski areas. The highest peaks could definitely still be getting some snow out of this. But for most of the rest of us, any accumulating snow is done by Thursday, by midnight on Thursday at the very latest. Most of us are done by uh, nightfall on Thursday. Um, we hold on to clouds, but then we start to get more and more sunny as we head towards Saturday. Flurries, we could see some sun, though, on Saturday. Saturday is less flurries. Um, just here, passing flurry here and there. Temperatures still in the mid-30s. Again, that's quite a bit, quite cold for this time of year. Temperatures in the upper 20s as we start to clear out. Sunday is nice. Temperatures come up a little bit as temperatures respond to um, the low pressure system kind of moving away a little bit more and a little bit of sun this time of year. The sun angle is quite high, so we're starting to get that sun really affecting us. We will cool off. It'll be pretty chilly Sunday night into Monday as we get into a dry air mass. And the good part about that is Monday is the eclipse. So uh, good to start off dry. We look to be dry, pretty much full sun on Monday. Right now, we really couldn't ask for better weather, it looks like, for the eclipse. So um, if you're trying to see it at, uh, you know, uh, 90, and if you're headed towards places where they're going to get the totality, northern Vermont, or if you're heading out towards west, New York, places like that. They also look to be very much in the sun, so um, it looks like we are going to be able to see most of that happen here in southern Vermont. Most of us are in like the 96, 97, 98 percent totality. Just north of uh, Rutland County, you do get Middlebury is, gets a little bit of totality time. So anyways, that's what's happening. So pretty good stuff um, for that. Let's take a quick look at the overall weekend highlights. Still expecting a few remnants of our ongoing storm for Friday and Saturday. No accumulating snow, but for Frequent snow showers, especially on Friday. That's after, of course, we get our uh, big snow totals this weekend. Some sun on Sunday. Weather looks really good for the eclipse currently, and temperatures will warm next week. I did have a snowfall map for you. Let me pull that up real quick. We miss out on that. Yeah, um, snowfall totals haven't really changed. This is my map from yesterday. I feel pretty confident that this is about where we'll end up. If I had to guess, I'd say on the lower end of these right now, but we could still push up closer to the higher ends. We're going to get a decent amount of snow tonight and tomorrow for this. So most of us, that's at least six inches, maybe as much as 10 for a lot of places in the valleys. Foothills, we're talking 10 inches probably on average, could get as much as 16. And then the mountaintops, we're talking probably closer to 12, but some places could push 18. Wouldn't be surprised to see a little bit more even in a spot or two. To our south, we're more four to six inches um, as snow takes longer to change over. That's what things are looking like right now. Still feeling pretty confident in the forecast. Let's head to, uh, I want to give a quick shout out to my patrons to help support what I do here at the West River Weather Guy. Um, I do this forecast on Wednesday every week for my patrons, um, and then I update it on Friday morning, so that's what I'll be doing this week, but you all get a view at it because I want to make sure that everybody got a forecast this afternoon. Um, Thanks for the support. Um, I know on Facebook, a few of you are having an issue where um, the link hasn't been working lately. Hopefully, they've got that fixed out. That's been a thing. That's been on the Facebook end of it. When that happens, you can message me or leave a note or leave a uh, message underneath the Facebook post if you're having that issue, and I will.
will post the link again or give it to you again. Or you can just go to my YouTube page. You just go to YouTube and search for the West River Weather Guy, and it'll show up as my most recent video. Or I do have a website. You can also go there, and I'll post the videos there. But anyways, um, I know that's a lot of stuff, but just kind of give you a heads up on that. Thanks to my patrons, and if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel before, I'd encourage you to do so. Then you don't have to worry about looking for it on social media. All right, we'll see you on Friday.